Back again I see, at underwater math. Well, let's go ahead and discuss model division problems. You'll need your spell books and your wands. Don't dawdle. Professor, we have a situation. There are 18 new students arriving shortly. We have only six dormitories available. How many students will stay in each dormitory? There must be an equal number of students in each dormitory. Thank you for making me aware of the situation. Let's make some models to help get us through these harrowing times. First, we have a model of six dormitories. We need to figure out how many students can go into each, so let's just put one student into each dormitory. It looks like we still have several students left. We'll try one more student into each dormitory. There are still a few students left, so we'll try one more student into each dormitory, and that should settle it. Perfect. There are three students in each dormitory. Let's look at another model. Here we have six pictures of beds. Each one represents one dormitory. We will place one student beside each bed to show one student in that dormitory. We will continue to place another column of students until all the students are placed. We end up with three columns of students, which tells us there are three students in each dormitory. All this drawing pictures can be quite time consuming. I say we just take the students six at a time, tell them each to go to a different dormitory, then take the next group of six. This way we can count back from 18. We could show this on a number line too, if you need a different visual. You'll notice that if we count back by sixes, it takes three hops. You're probably familiar with strip diagrams. We have a long rectangle with a length of 18. We will divide it into six smaller sections. Each section represents one dormitory. We need to find the length of each smaller section. I know that if I add up 3, 6 times, I get to 18, so each smaller section must be equal to 3. I can also use repeated subtraction to find the number of students per dormitory. I will just subtract the number of dormitories from 18, repeatedly, until I get to 0. The number of times I need to subtract it to get to 0 is the number of students I can place in each dormitory. 18 minus 6 minus 6 minus 6 equals 0. I subtracted three times, so there can be three students in each dormitory. That's all well and good with small numbers like these, but what if we were doing a long division problem? This would be much more complicated. I would suggest writing a division problem. 18 divided by 6 equals 3. Congratulations to us. We are math wizards. Let's try a new spell before we go. Matthias, Terminus. 